So when I look around here, this is a really looking like quite a bad infection. This crop is clearly suffering from lots of leaf dieback in the canopy. I can see it everywhere. With the um, the Forest Service has access to very up-to-date science and they keep changing their rules according as more science comes out concerning the sanitation action plan so all of these things are very fluid it's possible I could say we're going to do one thing now and someone will discover some new thing and they'll change a the rule and then we'll decide to do something different for sound biological reasons we have to remember this is a very new disease it only emerged in Europe in 1998, around 18 years ago. It's not very long to learn how to deal with something like this. Especially it's not very long for the latest science to percolate through to the people in authority who make the decisions concerning forests in Ireland. So we're all running to catch up. Every player involved is running to catch up and trying to... Um, it's not so much making it up as we go along as finding all the current latest information, trying to decide what to do and acting on that and whenever we see, always keeping our eye open for new information and new ways to deal with this problem. So what's likely to happen in here is every tree in this area of ash here, all of these, admittedly some of them in a very poor form and not in some respects a great crop, but a pruning treatment a light tin, or in Ash's case a heavy tin, would do a hell of a lot to improve the form of this crop and its yield. Anyway, coming back to what will happen. It will all be felled. The stumps will be killed with herbicide. The stems, any stems which are below 10 centimetres in diameter, this sort of size, um, will go and get chipped. They'll be transported in, they'll be chipped on site in an enclosed location. And they'll be transported in lorries to Eden Dairy where they'll be burned for biomass within 24 hours of their landing. So we don't start carrying the Chilara disease along the roads. As for the, um, all of the leaf litter and branch material that's produced during this fell and all of the leaf litter that's on the ground, all of this sort of thing, these pieces of leaves, in fact the whole ground scraping will be buried in various pits in the field, again to prevent infection and trans transmission. Gonna have a look around on the floor. Um, apparently the sporulation, or the little mushrooms that make the seeds that fly in the air that infect other trees, grow from these sorts of little stems on the forest floor. So all this leaf litter is going to have to be removed. The whole land surface scraped clear, if you like, and the stumps killed in situ. This crop represents a total loss, planted in 2004, and um, throughout the forest, here we go, everywhere. fungus and turning it all to mush. On the bright side of course um, what will be replacing this we're going to plant a native woodland. We're going to plant um, based very closely on the soil type a particular clade of species which suit this particular soil type in this particular location as a natural mix. We're going to try and mimic a natural woodland so that all the trees will be mixed up together, not really planted very much in blocks at all. And in that way, with the interdependence between species and 
all the um, mycelial interactions that happen under the forest floor in a natural forest, in the kind of woodland that would arise if we just fenced it off and left it alone for a couple of hundred years. We try and plant that. We hope to have much more disease resistance in the future. This monoculture of ash, where they're all planted so close together, I think these are 3,300 plants to the hectare. It's pretty much a cherry for a pathogen like Chilara to land on. It's got all these lovely young ladies who are so sensitive and so easy to infect. And as we can see in the canopy just here, it's, well, it's rampant. The only word to describe it, rampant. With um, good fortune and good planning and everyone doing their job right, I hope that we can have this source of infection removed. ASAP. We want to get all that fungus buried underground. We don't want this thing going everywhere at all. We'd like to bury it here and keep it in. I'm going to press stop.